happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. It is Brianna Wilkerson here. Um, just jumping in to really share a little bit more about sustainable weight loss and to really support women, how I support women in ditching, dieting, losing weight that last and reclaiming their health for good and thriving in their life. And so this particular um, live training is going to be about why your weight is and isn't important. So if you are in the Sustainable Weight Loss for Christian Women group, hello, great to see you. If you're not, you should join us. Um, but if you are on live or watching the replay with me, please let me know you're here in the comments and be interacting with me as you watch this. And hopefully I'll be able to see everything you say. But if not, I'll come back to it later. Um, I don't want to take too much time, but I do have quite a bit of things to say. And, you know, this conversation about weight, I recently renamed a lot of my programs. I recently renamed a lot of my groups and rebranded from being healthy body to sustainable weight loss. Now, I think they go hand in hand. I think that sustainable weight loss will give you the result of having a healthy, we will be a healthy body. Um, but I just saw that a lot of the women that I work with um, are, are like their biggest pain point is sustainable weight loss. Whether they've lost weight and they're just trying to maintain that so they can feel good and be healthy, or they're trying to lose weight, but there are certain things that hold them back, whether it's emotional eating, whether it's stress, um, whether it's lack of time, whether it's, there's a bunch of different things. But to today and this month, I just wanted to talk about what is sustainable weight loss and what are some things that could be holding us back and how do we get there. And one of the big ways I'm going to do that before I dive in is um, this in three weeks. Two weeks, two and a half weeks. March 24th, live on Zoom, I will be doing a free webinar called Introduction to Sustainable Weight Loss. And on that webinar, we're going to cover kind of like why your weight isn't and isn't important in a little bit more detail than today. Um, what is, you know, why diets don't work long term, what does? Some common things that may be holding you back from sustainable weight loss and some simple strategies to move forward. And then, of course, I'm going to be sharing about a special offer I have around my um, a three month coaching program. I have one spot available to sign up for March and then one more in April and I'm going on maternity leave soon. So if you are really interested in getting some support one on one, I just had a call with someone who signed up um, last month and there is a difference in what you're going to get on a webinar and there's a difference in what you're going to get um, in one on one difference in what you're going to get in a, in a free Facebook group and then a webinar and then a one-on-one. -on -one. And one-on-one -on -one is where you're going to get the most support. You're not just going to get materials and things customized to you, but you're going to get a space to really unpack where you're going to learn a lot of things. I'm going to learn a lot of things. And really together we can journey like what is the unique plan for you to overcome the barriers that are preventing you from having that body that you love and that is healthy, that's thriving and having weight loss that last. Okay. So if you have not joined the webinar yet, there will be a replay available for a short time, but you're going to get the best bang for your buck if you join us live. And so if you go to um, madewell345.com, I'm just going to type it in here too, madewell345.com slash weight loss, you will be able to sign up and join us. And so you'll get all the information there. Okay. So today I want to talk about why your weight isn't and isn't important. The reason why I want to do that is because even though I'm talking about sustainable weight loss, I do not think weight is the only factor that you need to be considering when you're trying to be healthy. Um, it is one of the tools we can use, but it is not all the tools. And even for me, I actually don't weigh, I mean, I weigh myself once a month now because I go to the midwife and I have to. Um, but I think when I actually really sat, when I, when, when I really was able to lose weight and sustain it, I actually wasn't paying attention that much to the scale because it wasn't about the scale. It was about doing the things that I know I needed to do to take care of myself, which would and will lead to lasting weight loss. Okay, so I'm just going to dive into a few things. Um, you know, just the idea that I think we're all familiar with the scale. Let's just start there. We're all familiar where, with whether or not um, we are fitting in a certain range or not. I posted a question earlier in the group this week. Um, when was the first time you weighed yourself? And if you didn't answer that, you can go back there, but also you can answer me here. When was the first time you weighed for yourself, not including a doctor's appointment? And a lot of women came back and said, you know, maybe in high school I was just curious. Or um, I, in middle or high school, I really started to see that to be thin was um, right and beautiful. And that's kind of what you wanted to try to fit in. Um, some people, it wasn't really until like college. And it's just like, 
I was just curious. And some people it was because I really feel like I've gained weight and I want to lose weight. So we all have a different kind of relationship with the scale. Some people are able to weigh themselves and it doesn't phase them much. And some people we really start to find, some women, we start to find our worth in it. Okay. And for me, I know I've developed a really broken relationship with the skill very early on where maybe I, 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 I started to sell myself gaining weight because I was overeating and emotionally eating, eating. Then I saw myself losing weight because I was barely eating. And I was always trying to fit into a framework of some certain number that I thought that I should be at. And mind you, like, I think there are certain parameters, um, certain things that weight and being in a certain range can tell us. But you really need to learn your body and figure out what weight your body really thrives at. Um, you know, many of us have done really crazy things in the name of diets and in the name of the scale. Um, and what is the craziest diet you've done? You can tell us there. And I know for me, the craziest thing I've done is really basically eating probably, like, I don't know, 800 to 1,000 calories a day and working out like over an hour a day. Like, because I was just so scared, excuse me of gaining weight and in the, as a result I had weight loss that was not good for my body it was I was way too small for my body structure and way too light and you can see it um, but because but because I didn't deal with that mindset part around the scale then I later on when I got really stressed and was just feeling like life was out of control I went to food for comfort and I gained all the way back and more but the scale was, for me, the pivotal thing that, for me, wasn't necessarily about health. It was about fitting in. It was about worth and value. But I do think, regardless of where we're at, we need to restore our relationship with the scale and really use it as a, as a tool and not as a measuring cup, okay? Scale is a tool, not a measuring cup. But your weight is somewhat important. Harvard has done a study saying, like, you know, being at this a healthy weight, and that can be different for different people, remember, can really help um, ward off things like asthma, gallstones, cardiovascular disease, disease, heart attack, stroke, diabetes, cancer, infertility, snoring, sleep apnea, cataracts, a lot of these more serious health conditions that I think sometimes we face later on in life, but you can even face very early on. Um, at being at a healthy weight can really get you there. And you know, given that though, um, ideal weight is something that I think we are all going to a doctor's office or we go and we're trying to fit in. And you know, there's a whole chart on your body mass index, your fat percentage, your muscle percentage. Um, but you know, your ideal weight, even though that's a, it's, a, it's a general category, those things are a rough idea. But it, our ideal weight really does depend on your height. It depends on your, your gender your fat and muscle competition, your frame size, and a bunch of other factors. So for me, learning my body, um, even when I started CrossFit and all that, my body started to come to, a, a, it, was a, it was at a higher weight, even though I was in a smaller size, because that does happen, um, than I probably would have wanted it to be. But guess what? It's at the weight that it thrived at, that was able to support me at that current stage of my life and the amount of fitness I did and what I ate, um, and just where I was, right? So your ideal weight will, will, will vary, but you can still use the BMI, all that sort of stuff as a guideline. But there are other things we should be looking at. So, the, so, so why is your weight important? Why it can help with, well, being at a healthy weight can help with all those serious health conditions that many people face long term, um, later on in life, but you can face from very early. Um, and I haven't even talked about obesity. It, obesity is a real thing. Um, just too much fat is not necessarily good for your body. But remember, your ideal weight can depend on a bunch of things as well, on your height, your gender, your fat, your muscle competition, your frame size, and a bunch of other things. But there are some other things that we need to look at. So your weight's important for that, but it's not the only thing that is important. Because you can actually be, as someone pointed out earlier today in another post, very small and weigh a really light weight, but be very unhealthy because you're not taking care of yourself. And so that's why weight is important, but it isn't. We, we see a lot of times we see skinnier people or we see women who may weigh less and we want to be like that. But guess what? They could not be taking care of themselves. They could be um, eating or just eating junk and they just might have a fast metabolism, right? And I'm not trying to shame anyone here. No, well, what I'm trying to do is help every single woman take the best care of their body as they can. Regardless of what weight you are, you should be taking care of your body in a lot of these simple ways that we talk about here. But other things you want to consider even when you're thinking about your health 
is your energy levels. Like how is your energy doing? Because you can, again, be at a very small weight or size and have no energy. So there's some other stuff going on there. You know, how's your brain doing? How's your mental clarity? Is that going well? If not, we need to be looking at that as well. What's your muscle mass percentage versus your fat percentage? Because women, you know, there is a rough range of healthy fat. We, need, we actually have more fat than men. And it's, for example, now pregnant, I'm getting more fat because it's preparing myself for a baby and breast milk and all that sort of stuff, right? Um, but there's other things even to look at, like your waist to height ratio, your hip to um, waist to hip ratio, blood pressure, cholesterol, all of these things. There are so many other things that we can look at to help us see how healthy our body really is. And you know, the seven main areas that I talk about to have sustainable weight loss, to have a healthy body, is looking at your nutrition, is looking at your exercise and your movement, is looking at your stress management and your sleep, is looking at your digestion, how's that going, is looking at the toxins you expose yourself to, and it's looking at where is your mind, how are your habits. And so your weight is important. It can tell you a lot about your health, but it isn't the only thing that's important. We need to be looking at those other things. How are we sleeping? How is our energy levels? Um, how's our stomach bloating going? Or how's our how's our period even? Our period is just a very small part of our menstrual cycle, but our period has a lot of information it can tell us about our health. Um, and so much other things, right? So I just really wanted to share this with you because I really want you to see, yes, I do want you to have sustainable weight loss if that's your goal. Because it is important. But I really want you to see there's other things in your health. There's other parts of your body. There's other parts of your lifestyle that also can be really kind of red flags and also green flags. Like things are going good of you and how you're actually taking care of yourself. Okay. So I would love for you to just share with me, if you've watched this, what um, one takeaway you have, you know, based off of this kind of short training, what's one thing that you learned or really are going to walk away with in regards to why weight is and isn't important for your health. Um, and then also, I would love for you to just share, um, well, yeah, share that, but also sign up for the free webinar on the 24th. This is going to be a space, again, we're going to go dive a little bit deeper, but you're going to be able in like kind of a coaching, teaching format, be able to learn um, how you can really, you know, shift small things to reach weight loss that last, to reach a healthy body that you love, and to kind of ditch that dieting cycle goodbye. Um, then, of course, if you're like Brianna, I've been watching you, following you, and I really actually just want to start maybe working one-on-one -on -one because I know that I need customized support. I do have one more spot open for this month, so please book a coaching clarity call, okay? So number one, tell me what is your biggest takeaway from this training. Um, number two, sign up for the free webinar at madewell345.com slash weight loss. Um, and number three, if you're ready to get some one-on-one -on -one coaching support, book a clarity call at madewall345.com slash clarity. Okay, that's it from me. I'll put all those links in the comments, but um, hope you guys are having a great week and I can't wait to hear from you.